G'day YouTubers, once again we are returning to the series on my electrical system and this time we're going to have a look at the troll bridge installation and the troll bridge is a piece of electronics that allows me to charge a 24 volt battery system from my 12 volt alternator and it's called the troll bridge because it's used for trolling motor batteries so let's have a look at how I installed it and how it works this is the troll bridge 24 that I'm putting into the boat to charge my 24 volt system for the trolling motor. Now if you're running a 24 volt system for your trolling motor and of course your uh, outboard's going to have a 12 volt charger on it then you really do need one of these in your boat. I'll put a link in the video description to where you can buy these. I think they're brilliant. There's not a lot of working area on the boat, but that's my troll bridge mounted on a uh, backing plate along with the uh, circuit breaker for the trolling motor. And that's going to go up all up on the battery end, of course. And I'm going to glue a, another piece of wood to mount this to onto the fiberglass so I don't have to drill any holes in my boat. I hate drilling holes in my boat if I can avoid it. That's the troll bridge charger there with all the wires coming out of it. That's going to charge my 24 volt rolling system off the 12 volt alternator by switching between series and parallel automatically. Got a 60 amp circuit breaker for the Mincator. I mounted them on that piece of marine ply. Another piece of marine ply glued in under there with some belts glued into it as well so that I didn't have to drill any holes in the fiberglass. It just allows me to mount it now without damaging the fiberglass. And I can take this off if I need to work on it or change anything, get it out from under there so it's easier to work on. That's the finished product. Can't shorten the wires, so I've got some of them tied up a little bit. That one can poke down there, out of the way. Red and black onto this battery here. Green and purple onto this battery here. Blue one goes to the positive on the Anderson plug for the Mincota. And the black wire comes straight back to the battery. Now I've set this up so that the troll bridge is at the bottom of the feed chain which means that my trolling batteries could charge last after my engine battery and then my house battery and finally my trolling battery. Now that suits me fine, engine battery is the most important. I like to have my electronics going for the house batteries next. The trolling motor is really nice to have, I'd be lost without it but it's not as important as the other two batteries. If I do a bit of running around while I'm out on the water, it charges it up and up to keep it going all weekend. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. That pretty much concludes the series on the electrical system I have fitted to my boat. I've still got other electrical things and some instruments to fit, but they're going to go in another series. This covers the batteries, the isolators, the auxiliary charger and the troll bridge. That's a basic electrical charging system in my boat. It's guaranteed to keep the engine battery fully charged, the house battery gets the next, and the trolling battery gets whatever's left over, which is exactly what I want. If you got something out of this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, subscribe. Until next time, good fishing.